Hi everyone, Dom here and tonight I want to share with you what I'm about to do. I'm about to clean my weighted vest that I use for body weight trainings and workouts. I think this would be helpful as well for those people who own tactical plate carriers. You know those uh, plate carriers that of course carry plates as the name says. That makes you bulletproof your upper body from your chest to your stomach. Uh, the process I'm gonna do tonight applies to them as well. It's the same. First, let me show you what we're dealing with. Uh, here's my training vest. This here is a heavy, a very heavy weighted vest that I got from Decathlon at Pasig. This is not sponsored by the way, but please do try to please, please sponsor me, please. I got this vest. I think I got it at an early rate price because I was just walking around that place. I love Decathlon. I was just walking around that place. I suddenly saw it. I could afford it, so I bought it and then the next week I returned. <laughs> The price change it became more expensive so I guess uh, there's a huge demand here in the Philippines for these weighted vests so as you can see it looks kind of tactical it has that feel and then that's the front here's the back with the Decathlon logo and here are the adjustable straps and here in the front are the two rows of velcro so you can wear it stamp it in there you go it's fit snug it won't rattle or shakes so much when you move around during a workout but maybe when you jump though tonight we're gonna clean this i got this from decathlon last september last year september it's been with me from september up to january 2020 i haven't used it that much i didn't clean it that much because i was busy going to the gym and then lifting heavy weights and there's no use of bringing uh, a heavy weighted vest to go work out some heavy weights so this was left at home i lend it to some other people uh which as you can see i'm not sure if they used it properly or took care of it but it's still it's still here it's still alive it's still breathing and i can confidently say that this is a very durable item so ever since i owned this last september i have only only cleaned this once back in january after i got it home from the gym where i left it tonight ever since the quarantine season started I began using it uh, early, during March. I used it around at least four times a week. But the past three weeks, I've been using this every day for my warm up. It's been a great help. It's been uh, very useful. And as you can see, there's a very, very small tear on the joints here because I've been jumping around on these. I've been running on these. Here, this parts, the shoulder pad parts, especially these hinges, these joints. You see those white dots? Actually, that's the foam. I think that's the foam inside. Wait, is it? Is it the foam inside? Oh no, sorry. It's not the foam inside. Uh, it's just the uh, dust stuck in there. So, I've been using this since last month, daily, and I'm about to clean it. Let's get down to business, shall we? Alright, so now let's take this thing apart, loosen some straps. Actually, for me, if I were, if I had any comment on this, this hinge are the only downside for me. Everything else is great, the velcro is great, the other stitches are great, but these hinges are like an 8 out of 10 for this 10 out of 10 product, because I'm not sure, I just don't feel so good and confident about these hinges. Anyway. One kilogram. So we got two of these plates. And then at the back side, two more. Now it's very soft. Now we already have our vest apart. And then we have our plates here. Uh, we're filling this with water and with a little bit of detergent soap. We're getting there. We're about to clean this one up. And guys, honestly, if you were here with me right now, at this distance, the vest smells like vinegar. And I've been working out on that. It smells like vinegar. I don't know. I think I could work out on this because, of course, first of all, it's mine. And then maybe second because I focus on the workout and how much it hurts more than how this thing smells. Honestly, it smells like vinegar with mildew. That's like just dried up dust. It smells so bad. I wouldn't want to share this with anyone or have anyone standing within one meter to it. 
By the way, uh, this vest is a combination of sand and then heavy plate technology. That's why you saw four plates weighing one kilogram each. The inside, there are, what you call this, compartments of sand. As you saw, I submerged it underwater. So what will happen to the sand? I think I just did a stupid move. No, no, I didn't do a stupid move. I made sure I did this well. So, I can confidently submerge it underwater. I can train with these even under the rain because these compartments, yeah, wait, let me get you, let me guys give you a closer look. There you go. These compartments, uh, they're breathable, right? And then from the inside, the sand is actually protected by a layer of plastic. That's why no matter how wet you get, sand in here, actually there are huge sediments of sand in here. The sand in here won't go out, won't crumble away, it'll just stay in there. That's a very practical technology. Putting the sand inside the plastic so that whenever this vest gets wet, the sand won't come out unless it's punctured of course. That's the reason why I can comfortably and confidently put this vest underwater. I'm gonna let my vest stew in there in its own filth for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try to clean up these plates. There are four of them. It's very rusty on the top side. Why? Because that's where most of my sweat goes and corrodes. So apparently, it corroded the paint. It's quite, it's actually quite a thick paint. Focus. There you go. Bit of a thick paint as well. So, I'm not gonna do anything about this actually. I don't wanna ruin more paint or uh, remove more metal in the plates. Four kilograms, that's 8.8 .8 pounds. I think the vest with all the sand in it is around 12.2, I think. I forgot, I already threw away the box. So I think we're dealing with a, what you call this? Okay, I'm currently stuck. This product was called the 20 pound vest. If I have 4 kilograms of plates, 4 times 2.2, 8.8, 8.8, 20 pounds, that would be 12.2 pounds. I don't know, you guys tell me if my math is right or not. You know what? That's it. They just all weigh at 20 pounds. It must be playing around the 10 kilogram range. So that's it. What I'm gonna do now is actually wipe this down. A wet towel would actually do, you know? Just to get this filth out of there, those mini particles and dust. Then I'm just gonna finish the rest of them. Actually, would you look at that? It's clean. My rag is still clean because it doesn't get filthy because the sand inside is actually also inside the plastic as I said earlier, so it doesn't get dusty, it only gets corroded because of the sweat that goes the top side. The vest has been submerged in its own filth for the past five minutes. I think this is a good time to do uh, the washing already. What I'm gonna do here is actually scrub it first with a detergent bar. You can use liquid detergent, up to you. You can use uh, powder detergent and then make sure it dissolves in the water. But personally, I like the touch of a detergent of a uh, detergent bar. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Also, try to use as mild detergent as possible, okay? Don't use the harsh ones. one as well because this is the part that makes a lot of contact with your sweaty shirt or your sweaty body all right so now that it's submerged uh, again but this time scrubbed with the detergent bar I'm gonna leave it for a bit and then when we come back I'm gonna scrub it so we can get those little sediments and we can get those small bacteria in the fabrics Okay, so almost five minutes has passed, and now let's check it out again. Okay, there you go. There's the vest, stewing in its own filth with a bit of detergent. So now, 
We're gonna drain the water because this is so filthy that if we scrub it right now, it won't end well. We won't be able to clean it thoroughly and most of the dirt will still be in there. So yeah, we're gonna drain the water. Ah, that's actually heavy. Then fill it again with water, but at the same time, we're gonna scrub its areas again. Okay, so now let's scrub this thing up again. And then we're gonna use a clothes scrub so we can clean it better. These bubbles forming out. So that's what we want, okay? Because when you see your soap creating bubbles, that means it's doing its job to clean, okay? Remember that when it bubbles, it's getting cleaned. And you know that the soap is actually taking its effect. Next, we go for the shoulder straps. These ones. It's basically just soaping everything that you have to be clean. Okay, that's just it. So, I know this is gonna be boring since you're just watching me clean. So, I'm gonna turn this camera off and I'll be right back with you guys. First scrub done, done. I'm about to rinse it in a bit and then I'm gonna scrub it again. I'm gonna use a toothbrush to clean those tiny areas, tiny spaces that this big brush can't go. Okay, so I'm gonna give it one last scrub and then one last rinse and then that's it. It's clean. We're gonna leave it to dry. Scrubbing, washing is done, time to rinse it. We've done well cleaning this up. Here's a proof how clean it is right now. That's the definition of squeaky clean. It means that the fibers are free from dirt, from bacteria, did well in scrubbing these fabrics. And that way, that will help the vest actually last longer. So that's how to care for your vest, guys. Just a short proof on how clean this is, aside from that squeaky clean part. Look at this. Oh. See? That there is clean water. That's clean water. Not clean enough. I mean, you know, there's still microorganisms there and bacteria. 1,000 subs and I'll drink this water. I'm just kidding. <laughs> By the way, how to dry it if you ask? Drying that particular vest, this, since it has sand inside, I don't recommend hanging it on its shoulders. If you have a rack where you can just spread it wide open, that's good. But what I do personally is I lay it on its side. Uh, here, I'm gonna show you in a bit. Alright, so this is how I dry them. I just lay them on their side. I made sure all the straps are loose and hanging. 
and all the shoulder straps are loose as well yeah that's what I said now I put it on its side because it's a school of thought that I just figured the reason I put it on its side because if I just simply sit it down and not spread it there's a huge tendency that it would not dry as well so yeah that's the basically the reason why I put it on its side so that the air goes evenly, it dries up evenly, and much quicker. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this video and please consider subscribing. Uh, there will be more content coming up soon. And I hope in this quarantine season, you guys are doing well. You guys are staying healthy, staying safe, and please stay at home. Thank you very much for frontliners who risk their lives for us. Thank you. I love you guys. God bless. Stay safe.